the room which to justice with the uh, great heart view of the phone so my review will be in the parts of pros and cons so let's first begin with the pros of the phone the first point of the pros is that it's got a really really great performing uh, processor the snapdragon 820 processor is a flagship was a flagship processor of last year and gives a phenomenal performance the benchmark scores are really great even though we should not trust the benchmark scores a lot but still on the real performance and even for the heavy tasking uh, even you want to do a multitasking you want to render a video you you want to do a heavy gaming this phone will not let you down for sure and especially in this price segment is the one phone which can guarantee you great performance excellent gaming a uh, very nice memory management and a top notch overall performance and overall feel second in the pros list is the good call quality the phone has got a uh, good mic and very good nice cancellation setup so whether you are on a call or you are recording a video from the front camera or the back camera the uh, mic of the phone uh, performs really well and the call quality and the recording of the mic is really really great the next in the pros list is the display of the phone and it's a really really great display uh, the 5 inch full hd ips display can go really really bright under direct sunlight and the colors are also very good so overall for the price the display of the phone is really really great and crisp next on the pros list is the great build quality of the phone it's got a really really good build and the build is very rigid and i'm sure it can survive a few drops like it did for me next is the camera the camera of the phone is pretty good for the price and the camera has got slow mo recording 4k recording and even the, the pictures taken from the back camera are really really good when there is proper light when there is ample amount of the light the camera is capable of uh, capturing good details but uh, the night shots are not that great there are noise in the night shots but uh, we really can't uh, uh, but we really can't ask so much in this price segment the front camera is also very good it's got 8 megapixels good so for the selfie lovers the front camera is really really great next uh, in the good list thing are uh, small things like the fingerprint of the phone is really really good and the phone has got a usb type c uh, connector so type c connector are really fast and very easy to use so futuristic and no other uh, very less phone in the price segment provide a type c connector and the fingerprint of the phone is also good uh, it performs very great for most of the time like some of the time the fingerprint is dirty it won't uh, capture it accurately but uh, most of the time it's uh, perform good next i'm going to discuss the cons of the phone and the first in the list is the heating issue and most of the custom room i experience heating issue in the phone and uh, this was not i expect from a snapdragon 820 processor because it uh, came after the release of 810 and we all know that 810 was a pathetic processor it has a lot of heating heating issues so 820 was there to reduce the heating issues and give a good battery life and uh, in this phone uh, in most of the room the heating issue was there but uh, you can get rid of that with the use of proper custom room and proper custom cutter next is in the cons list is the battery the battery it says it's 3500 mAh battery but i didn't get a very great battery life on the stock room on the custom room with the rupert custom kernel and after using greenify app and all that i can get a great battery life of around 6 and 6 and a half hours kilo time on heavy usage but uh, uh, i was very very uh, disappointed with that on the stock room with such big numbers like it 500 mAh per battery the battery was not up to the mark Next to the cons is that the phone has not got any type of protection on the front glass. There is no Corning Gorilla Glass 3. There is no Dragon Trail Glass. Anything like that. Many of you will ask that uh, whether the phone supports Qualcomm QuickCharge 3.0. So my friends, the phone does not support Qualcomm QuickCharge 3.0. I have not personally tested it, but I have read it in many of the XDA threads from very good senior developers, and they have said the phone does not support Qualcomm QuickCharge 3.0. Please don't waste your money on buying a Qualcomm QuickCharge for this phone. It's not supported. I don't know why Lenovo did this marketing gimmick. I was also very pissed off on that, but the phone does not support Qualcomm QuickCharge 3.0. 
so that was it friend that was my review of Lenovo the Duplex after using for one on a custom rom and i am pretty happy with the phone and recently the price of the phone dropped very very low to 10000 rupees for the 3gb ram variant and 11000 for the 4gb ram variant and it was a steel deal was insane at that price i mean you were getting a snapdragon 820 processor and 4gb of ram 64gb internal storage at just 11000 but the price has increased again right now so uh, i would suggest you wait for some time when again there will be a sale on amazon the price will drop again for sure and you might just should not miss this time grabbing one and um, this was my video for the review of Lenovo Z2 Plus. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like the video and comment down below if you got any kind of questions. So subscribe to my channel because I keep making videos like that on uh, regular interval. So thanks for watching.